And we appear to be back. So, I have absolutely no clue where I was. I have since managed to complete the game in between the latest video and this one, so I'm just assuming that you'll never notice when I totally am, uh, improvise and don't at all resort to scripting and pre-thought ideas. Here's to me hoping it's actually recording, because for some reason my num key is refusing to work. My numlock key, might I add. Oh my god, it's like being at the beginning of an RPG with no access to any freaking skills. But you know what? At least not... See, I was going to say that at least now I know better than to do stupid things, but I just walked into an enemy, so there's that. Have I mentioned that I also still suck at dodging? God, okay, 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 okay. Bottom line, just... Oh, okay, wait, okay. I have no clue where I was. I'm assuming I just got sign Or sane. Okay, okay, I, I just did. Okay. Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. And of course you do a little dance, and I can't go up because I don't know wall climb yet. There we go. So, uh, just so you know, any and all pretense of me actually knowing what I'm doing is false. This is basically just experience at this point. Okay, so... I won't need that, because I kind of... You kind of don't need that just now. Just explore things. So I'm going to go with... I want to get to triple jump. I'm going to need triple jump, actually. Hmm. Actually, no. I might just stop at uh, water breathing. Yeah, I might actually just... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, 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 there I go. Done. Chosen. Okay. Oh, Lord. Where do I go now? Uh... Not go that way. Don't have anything to do that way. Whoop! Shit. Okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. I kind of forgot where I, w I was supposed to be going. Okay, so I go here. And of course, just blow everything up in my path. Use the light of the spirit tree to blow the shit out of everything. Down. Uh, okay. Don't die in the bush. And find myself a nice little... Yes, I know. This is really annoying because you always get that pop-up, even after you get it for the 15th time. It's annoying as hell. I know I got it. I know what it is. I've been getting it for the whole game. Uh, wait, okay. So, wait. So if I jump here... Shit, okay. At least I made it. That's something. Don't go in the water. Water's poisonous. Yes, I know. The gates are done. The gates are done. Okay, okay, okay. And I only have one. Lovely. Yep, there we go. Have I mentioned that this game looks beautiful? And this is nothing compared to what you'll see eventually. Trust me when I say it only gets better from here on out. Okay, jump and douche douche. There we go. And jump through the door. Absolutely no energy to save, sadly. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. oh, okay. I nearly died there. Where is the pig? The pig? What? The pig? What? The frog? It's a frog. Why do I say pig? Jesus Christ. All right, I can't actually blow it up just yet. Uh, the save point here. Saving as often as you can is a very good idea in this game, because it can get Nintendo hard really, really out of the blue. Hmm. need to check something here. Hang on a sec. There we go. Everything appears to be fine. And I just made the jump, and now I'm nearly being... He was at half health. How did he die? Okay, I have more health now. The best part about this is I now know where I can go or where I can't go, which is going to severely reduce the time I spend going around trying to figure shit out. Also, apparently the issue with the slowdown may or may not have been caused by the fact that I turned V-Sync off. Which I normally do because in most situations, me turning V-Sync off increases performance. I mean, I remember, for example, on Just Cause 2, reducing, uh, turning off V-Sync actually turned the game from a choppy mess 
into a completely smooth 120 plus frame rate experience. Apparently here it just slows everything down when the frame rate has to go down. Ah, uh, don't die! It'd be amazing if I could go for the immortal achievement in this playthrough. Which of course I will fail miserably at, even after I know exactly everything that's going on. Because I know that I'm going to fuck up eventually. It almost feels bad when I destroy this because it just looks so beautiful. It really does. I'd be more to explore that way. Also, have I mentioned that Ori looks fucking adorable? <laughs> you, you, you'll see it as the game progresses, but it looks effing adorable. It really does. Ah, one of these things. Essentially what it does is if you put a map fragment on it, it allows you to... De Wait. Did you see something there? <gasps> oh my god, there's something there. Alright, it's... Oh, I have to go through the water to get it. Never mind. If, okay, essentially, if you put the map stone fragment on a map stone thingy, I think, uh, that's, what, that's what it's called, you unlock the map! Which doesn't really matter if you explore it by yourself, but sometimes it does in fact give you areas that you're not in. Which is very good, actually. Uh, I have no clue where to go next, so... Ah! Shit! I keep forgetting that I can't just double jump out of everything. Nor can I climb. Ugh, it's annoying as hell. Hmm. I get the impression that this is the part where I'm going to get the uh, wall. Whoa! Alright! Let's go for... I, I, I need to go all the way to at least water breathing. Because I want to be able to use the water without having to worry about it going up and down, up and down, up and down. Also, triple jump would be nice. Ah, oh, come on. Come here, thank you. Ah, this is the part where I get it. I was not mistaken. Oh. Wait, many years passed? I literally just noticed that. A has it been years since Naru brought me to inside the house and whatever the hell happened? Really? I was under the impression that it happened all quite fast. Okay. More energy! Woo! So, many years passed between... I apologize if you heard a noise in the background. My uh, retarded redneck, uh, what, what's it called? My retarded, oh, right, my retarded redneck neighbor absolutely refuses to get his fifteen thousand year old motorcycle looked at. So every time he goes up the fucking hill, I get to have a shot at hearing it. All right, the engine literally kill kills my ears every single time. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. I now get to wall jump. And of course I get to wall jump on the actual walls. No need to go between walls. Also because I think you feel you need to hear it. Just a little more music. Really, I don't care if it's going to drown out my commentary because frankly, my th this music is better than my commentary. Ah, uh, now go away. Am I supposed to get up there? I'm supposed to get up there, I'm guessing. Fuck it, I... I know who that guy is. And even then... Even then I don't like it, because it's creepy as hell when he does that. Ah, God. Run away! Kill the frog! Ah, there we go. See, if I had double jump, I wouldn't have to worry about this. Unfortunately, I don't. Yep. Okay. Let's save the game here, because I want to see if I can go through this entire experience without dying once. It'd be amazing if I could actually get the Immortal achievement, which I won't, because I'm not that good. Going through the game once and dying several dozen times does not make an expert out of me, sadly enough. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. 
Ah, okay, so go. Uh, I nearly died there. Go jump, jump. There we go. God damn it, fucking walls. And up, oh, there we go. Go down. Whoop. Ah, uh, yes. Wee there we go, map fragment is mine. Get the stuff. Also remember to always grind as much as you can. If you see something, kill it, because it's worth experience. Valuable, valuable experience. Where was the map? Right, I don't have the indicators. This is very bad. I might have to get the indicators. Yeah, I might actually just get the indicators for the ease of access, because, yeah, it's not just bonuses, it's also stuff like the map stone fragment markers. <laughs> See? Ta-da! Okay, now I have sort of an idea where to go. Uh, I was here already. Uh, okay. Let's just keep moving. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. One. Two. Oh. Ah, uh, don't die. I can't afford to die. I want the immortal achievement, which I will certainly not get. Uh, go second. I, I can't go that way just yet. Open the spirit gate. See, later in the game, like much later in the game, I'll be able to just navigate however the damn well I want. Fortunately, now, I have to deal with the fact that I can't, which is incredibly annoying, might I add. For someone who literally just spent an entire game not being able, not having to worry how I navigated, having to constantly worry about this sort of stuff is getting on my nerves already. Ugh. Okay, run. Okay. Uh, ah. I've imagined that the soundtrack for this game is amazing. It really is. Even the normal non combat y music is great. Ah, but I know how to get there. But I can't I can't get there until I get either double jump or something else. Why did I do that? Why? I knew that would happen. I am an idiot. Uh, okay, go down and get the thing. Whoop. There we go. Can I go up from that? No, I can't. There we go. Oh, this might be tricky here. Whoop. Oh, come on now. Thank you. Come on. Shoot it. Thank you. Whoop. Almost died. Okay. Wait for that one. Oh, that was a close one. Just save the game here. It's a nice save game mechanic, by the by the way. It's not checkpointy because imagine you can go through this entire you can go through the entirety of the game without saving once. But like, like this is my last save. If this is my last save, I go through the through the whole of the game. And if I died three minutes before it ended, I'd be back here. No upgrades, no nothing. As such, do save often. Also, apparently, it's not according to the TV Tropes article, it's not Japanese, it's Simlish. Sorry to anyone who might be offended by me calling this Japanese. Apparently, it's meaningless language. Actually, no, apparently, it's meaningless blather. It's not even a language. I don't know. I'm confused. I haven't mentioned that this game looks ab absolutely beautiful, because it does. It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, here comes the very first sad moment in the story. Cutscene! Apparently, there are other spirits just like me, including someone that looks like a jackrabbit kangaroo. Eh, 
Enter the Menacing Shadow. That looks oddly out of place with the style that's animated. It's really weird. Is it a crow? Is it a raven? No! It's an owl! We're watching Guardians of Gahul, everyone! <laughs> I joke. I joke. But it is indeed an owl. I don't know what that I don't know what that flash is, whatever. And now she's eating light because she's a dumb beast. She doesn't know how light works. Apparently it does work that way. Apparently she can carry light. Why do I have a random blue screen? How did she break light? You can't break light. Light is photons, not matter. Okay, photons have mass, so they're matter because of the Higgs field, but you know what I mean. You can't crush light. That's not how it works. Okay, traditional keystone element is gone. Everything that depended on a keystone element is now completely out of whack. Not exactly what you would call anything uh, remotely original in terms of actual backstory material, but but the visual presentation and the gameplay mechanics more than make up for it. Not to mention that it does actually make you fucking care for what is essentially a tree. And later on, as you will see, it will make you want to care for what is essentially a fucking bird. And not even a in particularly intelligent bird, mind you. I'm not gonna spoil it even- I'm not gonna spoil it even more for you. Fortunately, I can't break through. Not just yet. Okay, da 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 da, -da. Of course, now I can go to the well and save the game. In exchange, you also get full energy and full health. It's, it's also a nice little visual presentation because since Ori is completely white and is essentially just walking light, a lot of the effects you won't normally see Ori would just see a massive aura of light. Yeah, it's unstable, but I can't do shit about it. However, I can force that guy to go ahead and... Aha! Victory is mine! Oh god. Oh, they're slightly tougher. There we go. Wait, can I go up from here? Actually, I don't even remember. Can I go up from here? Uh, wait, 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 okay. I'm assuming I can. Ah, okay, I can. I can go from... Ah, but this is the way the plot is. And actually, I can go up there because it needs to go down. Also, no, there is no such thing as fall damage. Fall damage, what is that? You're a being made of light and love. Fall damage doesn't apply to you. Whoop. Ah, shit. God damn. Okay, one, two, three, four. There you go. Ah. As you can see, that's the way the plot is. Normally, <laughs> normally I'd go there, but yeah, fuck that. Let's explore some more. I mean, technically, the game does require exploration, because you do need to get some powers that are not exactly in the... Actually, never mind. It does railroad you a bit. Uh, unless, of course, you want to collect everything, in which case <laughs> you're in for some exploration. Ah, there you go. Large spirit container. Save the game, and we're going for this one. Makes most pickups show on the map, and although it doesn't tell you, it also shows you location of stuff like the spirit stone, like the uh, save game stones, and the uh, uh, map stones. See, I could just do this, but it's not as stylish. Ah, uh, come on. So this way should be something. Yeah, there we go. See? I mean, you, can, you can see Ori, but then he just kind of fades into the light, and you can't make out anything except, you know, whatever. Look at him, he's adorable! And he twists and twirls! It's awesome! So what this does is, at the exchange of save game energy, blow shit up. It also damages people a lot. Uh oh. Ah, there we go. Thankfully, there's a crystal there. And of course, I suck at getting through either that or my space key is getting unresponsive, which would be incredibly annoying if it did. Come on. There we go. Whoop. 
Hopefully I'll be able to, hopefully I'll be able to do something with this and not just go here and be a dead end. And it is a dead end, because it basically just opens the path back to where I was ages ago. Come on, come here. Let me kill you. Thank you. Should I care about the denizens of the forest? Fuck that shit. They're corrupted. They deserve to die. Please don't quote me on that. Sirit, please don't. I'll have the f I'll have fucking... I'll have the green party on my ass. I want the green party on my ass. They're ridiculously ineffective. I have to shame them. Okay, kill the plants. Kill the plant life. Also, don't quote me on that, please. <laughs> like, like anyone's actually listening. It's almost like I have an audience. Lol. Okay. And me saying that, me saying that, just reduced my non-existent audience to a negative number. <sighs> Come on, I, I can do this. I could do this before, why can't I do this now? Look at that, it's amazing. It's context sensitive. Oh, come on! Is it because the frame rate's getting lower? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, hello, Mr. Whatever the hell you are. Great, now I have to go down there to kill it. And of course I land right on it, because luck. Yep. And go there. Nope. Oh, hello, sir. Uh, okay. Let's try not to get killed by the bursting porcupine thingies. Ah! You dead? Okay, they're all dead. Lovely. Save. Because energy. And blow it up. There we go. That is disgusting. And of course, it tells you exactly what the uh, <laughs> what the answer to the puzzle is. Ooh, new type of enemy. Well, I can apparently aim this time, and of course, this is barred because it takes. This is a spirit door, an energy door. You basically sacrifice energy to get through it. I have two maximum energy cells. This one requires four. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I could explore, or I could do this. Oh shit, no. I did not think that through. And, whoa! That was nice. Let's see if the crystal regrew, because I want to go through that. Ah, oh, there we go. Lovely. Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you here. Thank you for the extra experience. Oh god. And they're going after me again. Come on, come on. I really need some combat upgrades. I really do. Ah, come on. Kill, kill, kill it. Kill it. See, later in the game, we're just going to be able to mercilessly murder these things. But right now, they are actually a threat to you. Okay, so I go there. There you go. Keep moving when you fight the spiders. Oh shit! I did not think I did not think that through, did I? I needed this to get through, and now I don't have it. Oh god! Now I'm gonna have to wait until I get the double jump. God damn it! Oh, this is gonna be lovely. I'm totally gonna die here. I can tell you that much. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I am going to die so horribly. Okay. Oh, wait! I got the, uh... Saving heals me thing. Oh. Okay, okay, all I have to do is be patient about things. Okay. Ah, there we go. This is lovely. Amazing. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm a pro at this. Or at least I've 
managed to make make through it once. This one is half the cost of Charge Flame, Ultra Soul Link. Let's go for this one. Let, let, let's just go straight towards the uh, water uh, breath thingy because that's the very first thing you unlock in terms of world events, and I can't go through it here, obviously. Why should I be able to go through there? Screw me. There we go. Ah, okay. There we go. Whoop, there we go. Lovely. Can I go there do anything? No. There we go. Whoop. Can I go... Yes, there's something... Oh. I I absolutely hate these people. I really do. I hate frogs. Let's see. I can't exactly go up there yet, sadly. That. Thank you. I don't even have a map fragment, which I would know if I wasn't blind. There we go. <sighs> my luck. Just my effing luck. Go, go die, you horrible, disfigured piece of... Garbage. Ah, uh, right. Uh, you know what the worst part about this game is? Those non-infected nettles, those never go away. Ever. Lovely. Thank you for telling me the obvious. That one goes there. And of course I can't go there because screw me. Oop. I go to the map stone fragment. It's not a map stone fragment, I go to the map stone, period. Okay. This reveals a bunch of areas I have absolutely no access to. Thank you. Thank you, game, for shoving it in my face. Can I, can I do it? I missed. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm a pretty, pretty ballerina! Woo! Okay. And of course I missed that last one, and missed that one, and that one. Hmm. Thornfeld Swamp. I don't think I can do anything in Thornfeld Swamp just yet, sadly. However, I can kill that bastard, so there's that. Lay up. Now lay up. Go up there, and that's the way the plot is, I think. Thank you for making my life easier. Actually, no, that is not where the plot is. That's actually where the very last thing is. Uh, never mind, never mind. Can't go there just yet. The enemies being a hell of a lot stronger and completely different was an indication. Oh, I can go here, right. Boom! Thank you. Thornfeld Swamp. Okay, so I, I was mistaken. I can do something here. No idea what... Right, because... Go away, Shadow! No one likes you, ominousness. Your ominousness, sorry. I can't conjugate verbs well. Actually, that was well conjugated, I think. Was that a verb? I don't even know. Sorry for the slowdown, but apparently even the V-Sync can't handle the fact that my computer is shit. At least I killed it. That's something. In all fairness, even when I didn't have any recording going on, it still slowed down at this point, and I have no clue why. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's a rock. I have to go. I have to go that way. I have to push it the other way and then push it back. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Don't! Don't kill me! 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 Yes! I have survived! Ah, okay. Unfortunately, it seems we're shit out of time. So bad. So, it's a nice press. Uh, yeah, this, this is in fact quite on the ball. I could just save here and end the video. So, thank you for tuning in, and please stay tuned in for the next video, which will probably not still be this, considering I'm in exam season and I don't have the time to go ahead preparing the review. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for tuning in, and please stay tuned in. Mm, goodbye.